stomach. Yeah, it was. Was it? Yeah. Oh, you've only just My stomach it. makes real bad noises. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. It's like a monster. So do that. What? Shoulder down. <sighs> Let's just get on with it. <laughs> This hate crime thing. So J.K. Rowling um, has come out of a bit as a bit of a hero because what she's done is essentially just exposed the absolute absurdity of it before it even came into force. So she said, "Right, it's April the first. Here we go." And I am going to call a man. A man uh, gave this whole list of quite high-profile cases of you know rapists that have pretended to be women yeah. when their court case came into into being and. and you know, did they pretend to be women or did they identify oh, as women? Come on. Oh, well, they well is perfect. it the same? I mean, what is the legal term? Well, they were perfectly happy being men up until they were charged uh, with, you know, sex crimes, hideous sex crimes. But then not, it wasn't just um, sex offenders she put on the, this list. She also put, um, so the man who claims to be a woman who is the head of the Scottish Rape Crisis Centre, right? Who, that, that job was advertised as a woman's only role. Yeah. This bloke in a sari took on this job. So you know age, it's, a, it's a bloke in a sari. It's an Asian man who now claims to be a woman. And his first um, comment was, victims of rape need to reframe their trauma, which says everything about, you know, this, this person should not be in charge of a rape crisis centre. And all these women said, you know, this, this is disgusting. So she, she listed all these examples and... India Willoughby, the bloody trans activist. Who's Bobby India Nobby. Willoughby? I've met... Uh, Jonathan Willoughby, who fathered a child from his ball bag, um, and although he's now had his bits cut off, he's, you know, this is... He was on Big Brother. Yeah. I am a woman! Yeah, ugly one. But, but keeps, keeps, I mean, it's put ridiculous things like... Um, You've I'm got a more real of a B woman in your than JK. Bonnet, you? I, I really have because it's absolutely, it's taking, it's taking the mickey out of women. And, and she put this until of, I say something. Until you say, but she put this sort of protective shield around women who haven't got the platform, who haven't got the money, um, to to fight this absurd law. Uh, and so she went right. So she get, she basically given the police two options: you either arrest her and face the absolute public humiliation which will then ensue because you know ultimately this is a woman stating biological fact so are you going to are you going to um really prosecute a woman for saying that or you don't arrest her and therefore you can't arrest anybody else and that's what she did um and so she exposed it straight away and they've said no crime committed why her do they have transvestments in the um uh, harry potter why her what? Why has she suddenly decided she's to take a woman. this on? Because yeah, well, there's a million women out no, there. No, no, she's... But she's Some a, of them are quite rich now. She, she's a woman. <laughs> All your ex wives she, She's a woman who, who suffered domestic abuse herself. So, and, and had to... What's that got to do with transvestments? Because one of the main issues is why is, is men pretending to be women getting access to women's refuges. And these places are for women who've suffered domestic abuse at the hands of men and they should be female only spaces so she's got no. she's got personal experience of that and you reduce all that safe you take away the safeguarding you know these poor victims of, of abuse again whoa 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 you're putting me in a, a place where, where there's men here and and mm. are, are, you know we're scared of men so she's got sort of skin in the game in terms of you know that's personal to her but she also understands like i've just said she has the money and the platform to speak out for women when they when they can't and there's so many women who are too scared to speak out because they will lose their jobs or get cancelled and we are I, I genuinely think it's terrifying that we're at a place where you can lose your job your career get cancelled from life for simply stating biological facts so what's the solution we have to get back to normality. You need you need people in charge who say, "No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not." Um, and we need education. You know, at my son's school, my son 
bless his little heart, he's, he's near, almost eight. He spent a good 18 months thinking he was Sonic the Hedgehog, right? When he was about three. At no point did, did Could I Could he roll up in a ball? <laughs> Mum, I'm Sonic. <laughs> At no point did you go, yes, you are. Mm. And we'll see if we can medically transition you into Sonic and indulge that for the rest of his life. Because if he was 25 tell, still telling people he was Sonic, you'd think he was insane. And he would be. Um, you know, and, and we, we just have to get back to reality. Um and we, like I said last week, we cannot just keep indulging fantasy and narcissism because this is genuinely about people's safety, predominantly women's safety. You've got to think of public opinion. If I was Netanyahu, he's, he's, I, hang on a minute, let me finish. Would we have malleted? Why do you put a red cross on top of a hospital? So it doesn't get targeted. Well, we got bombed. Our hospital got bombed by the Argentinians. Because we made the mistake of stacking, we were stacking yeah, ammunition near it. Yeah, but I mean that's the way. If you want a, if you want a gun, a 155 gun, put it in a school playground or whatever, and then it won't get bombed, or will it? But this, but this is what Hamas have done, right? They've they've built tunnels under homes, they've built yeah. tunnel, tunnels under hospitals. They've they've used hospitals as bases, right? You talk about public opinion. My my point would be to that. Israel can't win regardless. Now, the, my point my point on this is. There were protests on the streets of London, pro-Palestinian marches, yeah. before Israel even retaliated. Mm -hmm. Now, that tells you, this ain't about Palestine. This isn't about people being right. genuinely... So, let so, me finish. This isn't about people being genuinely critical of the thing. This is about people saying, if Israel does it, we're going we're gonna to hate you anyway. So when you talk about public opinion, if you are Israel, aren't you thinking, well, people are going to hate us anyway. Regardless of what we do or how carefully we try to negotiate this, essentially wiping out terrorists that are massacring us, pub the public seem to hate us anyway because we're Israel. And, and that, so how do you approach that then? If you're Israel, what do you do? I knew you were Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know. Yeah, all I'm you know, saying, all I'm saying, I, I'm not taking sides. It wouldn't be right for me to do it. All I know is, is that public opinion is very, very strong. Let's not be so serious. Okay. Well, this war is a, is a serious. Well, this thing, is a bit serious, but I think it's quite well. It's just a bit bonkers. What is it? So you know, Easter Sunday. Mm -hmm. I knew it well. You were just drunk for most of Easter Sunday, weren't you? Um, and that's what you should be. But, so they named it Trans Visibility Day. A what? Right? So then I went, oh, thank goodness they've got one day of the year where they're visible. So this is all the days and weeks and months of trans days. Do you want to know? Yeah, go on. Right, okay. Let me on. read it out. Automatic Scrotum Awareness Week. <laughs> Aromantic Day. Do you know what aromantic means? It means that you don't love anybody. You just, just who cares? If you don't want to I be in a relationship, I had three days of it. Just don't. I had about six months of it, not being in love with anybody, and then cue music. <laughs> I went to the boat show, and I sat back with my friend Shep and his wife Vanessa. I was feeling quite lonely. One day later, <laughs> and as I poured my fifteenth glass of Whispering Angel, I saw. Two women walked past me. When I shut one eye, it was just one person. And she was an angel. And she said to me, go fuck yourself, you. And she, <laughs> it's a beautiful story. Why? I fell in love that moment. Oh, I know. You're a proper cheese ball. April the 6th, International Asexuality Day. Oh, hi, fans. I'm Cliff. No, but is that, is that being... I knew an asexual person. Does that mean you just don't want sex with anyone then? So yeah, the, the first you one don't... don't want a romantic relationship. No. Well, that's most married couples. What? Just being asexual. Stop it. But does that deserve a day? Who cares? If you don't want to have sex, right, just don't have sex. Just bore off and live your right. sexless life. April the 14th, the day of silence. That's the day I'm looking forward to. It's a day we're all looking forward to <laughs> if we're around you. No, but one day maybe. What? One day... These activists? No, it's for everyone. Up. Is this just for activists? This, well, this is for... So Here we go. Gonna be let's move on. For trans yeah, let's, move, let's have a practice at the Day of Silence now for 10 minutes. <laughs> Pansexual and Panoramic Awareness Day. Panoramic? <laughs> no. Entire month of June, Pride Month. Uh -huh. Oh, because that's warmer. But that's been hijacked. That's yeah. been hijacked by... 
once again, by trans activists. There was a reason for having Pride, Pride at one point, and I think the next one coming up is Stonewall. Stonewall was set up for to, to for gay rights. A Peter Tatchell or that mob? No, Peter Tatchell was Peter Tatchell part us. Yeah. But Stonewall's been hijacked by trans activists, and so actually right. it's turned its back on the people it was supposed to be helping. This is a list of all funny things. This, so what I'm saying is... It's not, where's St George's Day? No, this is all trans yeah. days, right? right? Or whatever. That's what I'm saying. Did they really need Easter Sunday to be visible? Because they've got most of the rest of the year, man. 